Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus. This is Rich again, back for your second and final video blog of the night for Sunday, June 19th, 2016, around 721 in the evening, Belwick, Massachusetts. It's a sunny day, a perfect 10 day, getting a little more warmer today, and tomorrow the humidity is going to be a little sticky, but tolerable. Tuesday's the day where it's humid and lots of thunder showers and rain. That's a cool front, and the rest of the week's supposed to be dry and nice. Maybe some rain on Thursday. Next weekend starts off nice and more humidity comes in on Sunday and tomorrow's the first day of summer. Some news to report. The Boston Red Sox beat the Seattle Marlins by the two score of 2-1. to one. The Red Sox put Rustin Castro Castillo on waivers. He's an outfielder. The Red Sox signed him to a $72 million contract in 2014, but he's been a bust for the Red Sox, and he's in the minor leagues, and he's not producing there. Game 7 of the NBA Finals are tonight on ABC, the last NBA game of the year. It's Golden State against Cleveland. Um, the Portland Trail Blazers have announced that they hired Kevin Carl. Boa, it's it's new play-by-play -play announcer for Comcast Sports Northwest. Kevin was the longtime play-by-play -play voice of the Seattle SuperSonics, and Ron McLean is returning as host of Hockey Night in Canada next season. And that's about it on the news. My second and final. Video blog subject of tonight's my personality profile. Tonight's personality profile is the late great actor David Doyle. David Doyle was one of the best character actors in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. He had a growly voice, and he's known as playing John Bosley on the classic TV series Charlie's Angels. David was born in Omaha, Nebraska, and he grew up in Wisconsin. His father was a famous attorney in the Midwest, and his grandfather was a railroad and banker who built a lot of railroads um, in Nebraska at the turn of the century. And David um, fell in love with acting at first, with stage performances. He became a stage actor for many, many years. And he actually worked as a shipper receiving clerk, packing false teeth for a few years. That's pretty amazing, he packed false teeth. I don't think he ever owned false teeth that I could recall of. And... David appeared in 27 movies during his um, Hollywood career, mainly in small parts, playing a certain type of character, you know, and he also was a voice actor as well for many movies because he had a distinguished, raspy, and grave voice. He started, a, um, he starred, he guest starred in several TV shows in the 60s and 70s, basically the Patty Duke show, Hawaii Five O, Cold Jack, Sanford and Son, Heart to Heart, Love Boat, and a few others. And he appeared in a few television movies as well. Some of the um, TV roles he had as guest stars as like Crooks and con and like this this. Dis um, like disowned lawyers or priest who got one bad, and um, he had a few recurring roles on the new Dick Van Dyke on the Dick on the new Dick Van Dyke show as Ted Atwater. He was Walt Fitzgerald on 
Bernie and Bernice, which lasted for about a year. His his most known role um, was as John Bosley, private detective, on the classic TV series Charlie's Angels. The John Bosley character was very funny. He was like the direct liaison to, for the Angels to um, Charlie and Bosley has seen Charlie, but he would never this would never tell the angels what he really looked like and usually Bosley was kind of asexual but there was a few times he would be um be in serious roles on Charlie's Angels he got a, he got a couple of Emmy nominations for best supporting act, actor doing his role on Charlie's Angels for the last five years. The name is Bosley. John Bosley. After, like, Charlie's Angels ended, um, David continued to um, work on several TV series. He wasn't a regular on any of them until, like, 1986 when he appeared he, on General Hospital for one season as Ted Holmes. Also, David appeared on several game shows, including Hollywood Squares. He was a semi-regular panelist on Match Game, and he, he did some funny answers because he had he was a great sense of humor. He also appeared on Password Plus, Tattletales with his wife, Anne, and Super Password, among others. David continued to do on voiceover work and acting for the remainder of his life. He took up golf as a hobby and he and appeared on a few talk shows talk, reminiscing about his role as John Bosley on Charlie's Angels in the mid-1990s. In February of 1997, David Doyle had a heart attack and he passed away at the age of 68. David Doyle probably, yeah, I would rank him up there as like maybe the top five maybe character actors in the 1970s for TV series. And you know, his work was very, very underrated. I'm very surprised that like David Doyle did not get like a starring role in a television series or like a feature role in a movie because he kind of had that talent with a little bit with a cat with humor and sometimes serious roles but sometimes um, um, producers don't want like maybe a character actor and it's like a serious lead role which is too bad because I think David would have been a good good lead actor in a TV series or movie and that's about it on him that's about it on these video vlogs for tonight. Tomorrow, you're going to get three more. Back to usual three for tomorrow. First video blog will be about who I would vote for for the Hockey Hall of Fame this year. Because Hockey Hall of Fame and um, induction and uh, nominations are this week, June 22nd. I'll tell you the, f the four players who... I would vote for if I was on the Hockey Hall of Fame Selection Committee. Second video blog will be about MBTA Bus Route 55 that goes from Downtown Crossing Park Street to Quisenberry and Jersey Street in the Fenway District of Boston. And the third and final video blog of the night will be about the late great professional wrestler WCW Hall of Famer Angelo Poffo. I know another Angelo. He plays scratch tickets at Market Basket. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Bunny guy. Molly Rose Blood of the CCO Fox and has nice legs. Beth Hart's so, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Swansea Rocks. Papa Gibbs of ABC 11 in Raleigh, North Carolina has that sweet southern accent. And Linda Church is the best. And in the words of Sean Lucha, get out! I'm getting so many likes on these video blogs, and I love continuing to do them. They'll be, I'll be doing them forever. And July, for video blogs, sneak preview. There'll be a video blog about the Boston Public Library, and another video blog about 
about the classic TV series Night Gallery, and I'm going to review all the WWE In Your House paid previews and some great personality profiles, including John, John Charles Daly, Bud Kaya, and Gary Moore. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.